What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am Julie of Julie's Plans and today we're going to be taking a look at the Laurel Denise Project Planner. I'm just telling you right now, I think that you should run over there and grab one because I think that this is going to fly off of their website super, super quick. It's a very like workbook style book essentially and I am quickly like, there's so many options for this, so, so many. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, we're gonna jump in and take a look at this project planner. I think you're gonna love it as much as I do. All right, so here we go. This is the project planner and it is in the color Walk in the Woods. It is such a beautiful color. Um, just like the perfect green to complement some of the other patterns and colors within the Laurel Denise line. As I stated in a previous video, Video. with my reviews moving forward we're going to touch on five key categories and then give this planner an overall rating at the end so the five categories are going to be price paper a little bit of a pen test personalization options packaging and then a rating over the overall experience okay so first the project planner from Laurel Denise it is an undated planner and its price is $35 so to just jump right into the paper situation the one thing that I'm really excited about this planner is that with a lot of companies their supplemental books sometimes suffer in the paper category but this planner has the same exact paper as the main Laurel Denise planner so you're not going to lose any quality it is 80 pound paper and it is in this like really bright white color it's almost a little bit difficult to see but I'm hoping my camera adjustments made it a little bit easier for you guys to see the pages themselves so there you are for the paper and the price now let's talk about packaging so I ordered this with another planner so it didn't come in a box like like the Laurel Denise planner does have its own box you don't get like a storage box for it but that's perfectly okay um, because it really doesn't need any of that so like I said in line with the packaging let's also talk about what the materials are for the planner itself the cover itself is a matte laminated uh, paper but it has this like embossed texture to it. I kind of bent mine a little bit when I was flipping through the pages, but um, it feels like a material that you could easily wipe off if you got something on it. What I think is really fun though is the stitching on this book is this like neon pink. I shared this a little bit in my review yesterday where I love this sort of contrast of colors and patterns that they have. So you have like this very like nice floral pattern and then on the inside it's like this super bright pink color and I just love that about them how they sort of choose their colors like that so it's a little bit of fun um, thrown on there and I like that the book is not stapled that it is stitched I prefer stitched over staples it could be a personal preference you'll have to let me know down in the comments what your personal preference is but I actually really appreciate that this book is not uh, stapled together and again the hot pink stitching is just an extra extra bit of fun. Now as far as the dimensions go of this planner, it is 11 inches wide by eight and a half inches high. So it is a wide planner, which is in line with the brand of the Laurel Denise planners. But what I love about this size is that it actually complements the main planner really, really well. So if you needed to add this as sort of a companion to the main planner you could easily put it in the back pocket if you needed to I mean it doesn't fit in there all the way but you could easily just like place it in the back of the planner I think it's a little bit of a stretch to stick it in the pocket but you could just kind of keep it back there um, it's pretty much like the size of the paper actually it's a little bit smaller than the size of the actual paper of the Laurel Denise planner but it's a good like complementary size I do wish that you could kind of tuck it back in there but this book isn't while it may look thin it does have a little bit of uh, weight to it so you don't want to like tear up your pockets or, or anything like that but again you could just kind of have it back there and then you don't have both of these planners taking up space on your desk 
All right, let's do a quick flip through of the contents inside. So when you do open up this planner, you do get a pocket. I kind of, again, love like this sort of camel color and the green color here, but it's perfect for storing any of your papers, any of your stickers, things like that that you might want to keep close by. And again, it's got that nice coated material. So if you need to put like your sticky notes on here, things like that, you don't have to worry about, you know, lifting up a sticky note and it's going to like tear up the pages. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, then you've got the title page. So you've got the Laurel Denise Planner. It says monthly views undated. Another thing I want to mention is that there are no tabs on this planner, unlike the other undated products. Um, you'll have to figure out a tab situation for yourself if you need tabs, um, but it's not really a deal breaker. You could easily put some Avery tabs on here if you want to. You've got an area to put your information, and then you've got pretty much a blank slate. So you've got the month view. I I think what I like about this month view is that it is a month on one page. However, if the month page in the main Laurel Denise planner is not big enough for you or just not your vibe, at least you have this option and it's a nice blank slate that there's really you can personalize it yourself. And that brings me to my next category um, for rating this planner is personalization. So you can't necessarily personalize the cover. They don't have that option over at Laurel Denise, but because they give you such a blank slate um, to work with in this planner, you can really, really like make it your own. So like I said, it is truly a blank monthly. So you actually get to choose also the start of your planner. So a lot of undated planners will already have the days across the top. And this one really just lets you do it all yourself. You could have this planner start on a Wednesday if you wanted to, if that's what you needed for your personal schedule, or you could do a traditional Sunday through Saturday or Monday through Sunday. You've got a spot for your month and your year and a little bit of a dot grid area to put any sort of other things down that you want. Now the next page is this sort of column situation with habit trackers underneath it. Again, it can be a little bit overwhelming to have a blank space, but you could literally have, say, an area for your family. You could have yourself, your partner, two kids, yourself, your partner, your two cats and dogs. I don't know, but you could literally use this for anything. They give you an area for your title. Um, you don't have to necessarily use this for work projects or social media projects or anything like that. You can really use it for whatever you want, even though it's called a project planner. Me, I've kind of been bouncing around the idea of either using this as a wellness log simply because there is all of these habit trackers down here. And you guys know I love, love some habit trackers. So the habit trackers, at least, that's the one area that does have numbers for you. You could easily white out the extra numbers Numbers. Say this was the month of February, you could just block off the 29th and on if you wanted to. Um, so that's pretty cool, but you do have an area to track uh, five habits. So that's pretty awesome. And then again, it just continues for the rest of the year. And you do get 12 monthly calendar spreads and then 12 of these pages over here to plan out your projects, wellness, family things, a work actual planner. If you're not someone who needs a weekly and a daily, this is going to be perfect. Or again, because this is a project planner, you may not necessarily need all of those extra weeks and days for all of your projects. Now over on the website, they do call these to-do list columns and I could see how that could work for a project specific planner. You could literally have your to-dos broken up by quarters of the year. I know for myself in any sort of project management that I do, I do break up things by the quarter. So this is a great way to sort of track your progress. Again, if you did that, you'd have to write that down every single month, but I mean, Honestly, I would probably do that with a project that I was working on. Then after you have all of your monthly views with the to-dos, you have your goals section. And these pages are exactly what you're going to find in the traditional Laurel Denise planner. So I love that they included this in here because essentially you're getting a Laurel Denise planner without the weeks in it, and obviously not on a coil. At this time, I don't see a project planner on a coil, but I think that that would be kind of neat for those 
those folks who want to be able to fold this over on itself and maybe don't want this to take up so much space on their desk. So again, you have six months on this page, six months over here, dot grid on this side. I absolutely love it. And then again, just like the traditional Laurel Denise planner, you have these tracker pages. These are my favorite. And I think with any sort of project planning, whether it's a work project, social media project, I think trackers can be very, very beneficial. Um, you could even keep track of who is doing what on your team. And again, I love that they've pretty much left the pages like a blank slate for you. So it's not telling you what to do with the pages. It's kind of just giving you a like just a, a blank diagram and you get to decide what these vertical columns are for, how you're gonna label them or what this page is even labeled. Now I would say that my only gripe here with this is that there aren't 12 of these and I would need 12 of these. Another way around that is to split this in half if you don't need the whole page. So this could be like January, February, March, April kind of thing. Or if you are working on multiple projects and don't need these broken down by month, you could literally break up each page um, if you are working on that. For example, in my job in HR, I would probably create a tracker for uh, talent acquisition initiatives, onboarding initiatives, and where I am within that particular project. So this could definitely be beneficial for me for work as well. So there are eight of these. And again, like I said, I do wish that there were 12, but you can definitely make it work with eight. And again, just like the traditional Laurel Denise, you're gonna get a bunch of graph paper pages for you to continue to map out any of your projects and plans. Again, I really love that this is a uh, printed on like a gray that's not like too in your face but also not too hard to see. Then after the grid you have some dot grid pages which again I always give like extra kudos to any brand that includes a good amount of notes pages because my goodness we need them. <laughs> Then when you get to the back of the book, uh, you have yet another pocket. So I can appreciate that there's a pocket on the front and on the back of this planner. So as far as pen tests go, because the paper is exactly the same, I'm gonna defer to my pen test page that I did for the traditional Laurel Denise planner. You can also go ahead and check out that video, but just to kind of briefly go over this, I used one of the project planning pages that you can order separately and pop in onto your coil and I created categories for pens, markers, highlighters, and everything else in between. And you'll see that there is no bleed through, no ghosting. You don't have to worry about any of that. And since the paper is exactly the same as it is in the planner, as it is in the project planner, that means you're not going to have to worry about any ghosting or bleed through in this book as well. Okay, so let's talk about overall experience. I thought, again, very similar. I ordered this with my Laurel Denise planner, so they shipped in the same amount of time like within a couple of days and I got it fairly quickly there was a little bit of delay with the hub in Atlanta but again that's not on the brand that has totally to do with the post office now I don't know how this would be packaged on its own so I can't I kind of can't give feedback on that because like I said I ordered it with another planner but it arrived in perfect condition no issues with that again I bent this myself flipping through it um, overall experience um, I, again and because I ordered this at the same time as my planner, I thought navigating the website was easy, picking what I needed was easy, and I'm glad that they have these available. I'll be interested to see if during their next launch this is a dated option. I prefer dated planners, but um, this is kind of fun to be able to hop in and out of without any sort of that commitment guilt if you're missing out on dated pages. So overall, I would give this book a four out of my five stars. Again, I haven't, I also haven't been able to use this unlike the Laurel Denise planner the main planner I've been able to use that for several months um, so I'll need to kind of give maybe updated feedback later on when I do spend a little bit more time in this book but for now it's a four out of five stars and that's not too bad you'll have to let me know your thoughts down below in the comments but overall, I think that it is worth checking out this book if you own a business, you have some projects that you're working on, even for a work planner, family planner, budget planner. It's very, very flexible with the way this book is laid out and allows you to truly customize the pages yourself.
All right, guys, that is it for today's video and a look at the Laurel Denise Project Planner. I can't wait to hear what you guys think down in the comments. I think you guys are going to love this planner just as much as I do. I'm excited to jump into it and definitely be sure to look out for some future videos and maybe some content over on Instagram as I share how I'm going to integrate this into my planning system. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are already subscribed, make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.